MMA Meltdown on the Fight Network continues. Thanks to the one and only King Mo for joining us on the program. And uh, our main man in Costa Rica is in close friends uh, with a lot of uh, mixed martial artists. Uh, but King Mo happens to be one of them. Uh, always a pleasure, Joey. How you doing? Hey, what's happening? Yeah, once, once Mo warms up to you, Mo's a good man. He introduced me to Mayweather. Mo knows everybody, man. Everybody likes Mo. It's weird. Like they don't talk about him in the media, but they they like him. Like once they meet him, they like him, you know, because he's real. Like he he don't he don't mess around. Like if he thinks, you know, if he's got an opposing opinion, he's not afraid to say it. Yeah, as I know. Uh, yeah, as I know, I I got into it with Mo on Twitter before. Like you said, he's a passionate dude. But you're right. Once you get to know him, and uh, he gets to know you, he opens up. We just had a great time with him on the show. In fact, I never really heard him uh, laugh so much and be so open. Uh, you know, because I saw him telling MMA Junkie, I don't want to talk about the tournament. It's always the same crap questions. Hey, with us, he was talking about everything. We talked about uh, Drake and Meek Mill and uh, the rap wars that are going on. Uh, very entertaining stuff uh, with, uh, with King Mo. But unfortunately, we went a little long with Mo. We'll have a full chunk for you next week, Joey, with uh, Dodson uh, Johnson, too. But uh, let's just uh, take a quick recap. We broadcast the card right here on the Fight Network this past Sunday. And, uh, man, the dogs were barking, weren't they? What, five dogs cash, some pretty big ones along the way. And we have to say the biggest parlay buster of them all was Chad Laprise going down. Hey, he was like uh, minus 390 in some spots. Yes, yeah, so I tell you what, some of these, you know, there was so much. Everybody's reading the same thing. And we had a lot of time before that card. So they kept doing, like, showcases on a lot of these fighters. Even Val- Valerie Letourneau, her, her opponent, like, yeah. they had heard the second coming of, like, Cyborg Santos. I thought of you, Joey. Justino. I thought of you with her. I'm thinking, she's a big underdog against Calderwood. Calderwood wasn't herself that night. Then suddenly she's a big favorite against a tough-ass girl like Valerie Letourneau. And I thought of you. I, you know, my line's day late, dollar short. I like yours better, actually. Early for the uh, the wedding, late for the funeral. That's exactly what happened with Moreau's and Latorno. Well, I tell you what, there's a judge up there. This, I don't know what's going on, <laughs> but uh, it's a, his initials are Greg Jackson, but it's not the same Greg Jackson. And man, I mean, thirty twenty seven Silva, and, and I and he did it to, to Jabwan twice in the past. I, I was just like, wow. Something's not right. I mean, it's the same elephant in the room, and not to beat a dead horse, but my God, I mean, thirty twenty-seven silver was just that's just criminal. Was wrong. Yeah, that's it's that mad. that's in, that's criminally. We always say criminal. That's criminally insane. So I saw a lot of people boasting, and it's funny. I usually do well when the public doesn't do well, but you you know you know the real world because you're seeing the numbers. Everyone's a winner online all the time, but I saw a lot of people boasting how they had a great night on Sunday night because of the five dogs that won. Uh, you know, Magni Cash, we mentioned that, you know, Trinaldo Cash, Moroza loses, Latorno Cashes, etc. And then a couple of smaller uh, dogs as well on the way. But uh, what, what happened? And yeah, we've got a minute left here, Joey. But did people have the great night or did the books win? Well, I'll tell you, the people that bet the parlays got smoked because they put all these big favorites in there. They're afraid to lay the big numbers. But then the guys, I mean, it doesn't take too many of these three-to-one underdogs to win for you to have a winning night. People don't understand that. I mean, you bought one big favorite, and you got to win three fights to make up for it. And, you know, one of them might be a dog. Might be, You know, if you blow another big yeah. favorite, ruins your whole night. That's why they parlay them all together. And parlay look how it came out of the gate, killed. Joey. Look how it came out of the gate with Shane Campbell, the first fight, cashing a ticket at plus 200. It almost set the table. You always say, this stuff always is contagious. We saw the dog win early. We saw the Canadians get the decisions early. Questionable decision. I thought Chris Beal got screwed, actually, in that fight. That's another dog that won. Yeah, I, th- I thought that Beal, I, I, I like Beal. He was one of the favorites that I did like. And was he a dog or a favorite? I don't recall. Yeah, no, he ended up closing at 170. But unfortunately, we got to get out of here. We'll have a full uh, segment next week. Joey will break down Dodson Johnson, too. Thanks, man. Okay, have a good one. Check out Odessa.com, Joey's new website. Uh, we'll come back uh, with a, a video of the week. But this is a can't-miss video of the week. Trust me.
All right, thanks to King Mo and Joey Odessa for joining us on the program. We're going to break down uh, Mighty Mouse Dodson, too, next week on the program. we got to get out of here right now, but, uh, hey, things have been hot in the world of mixed martial arts, and they're getting a little hotter right now. The lingerie fighting league is killing things. I've been to lingerie football league games before. Never lingerie fighting. I think I have to go later. Wrestling from San Diego paved the way, so that's something right here. Chloe. The athleticism right there. Yes. Hell, oh, the beauty. Now, slam her down. That's what she's going to try to do. So he's still trying to set that key. So he just throws her off. Her neck hit the wire. That is not something. And they're still going out. They're still going out. The Silva still not convinced, and she wants some more. Women that are known to strike. Uh, I'm very impressed with Lauren Eric's There you go. Now, I, I